I'm Rovena Freca. I'm uh, from ENEA, which is the Italian National Agency for New Technologies and Sustainable Economic Development, Italy. It's a very important agency, or a research agency. And today I wanted to talk about the environmental management systems. Oh, here I am. Yes, which is a very, I mean, it's a very uh, important issue since we're talking about green industries. And so it is important to understand how we can manage all the, um, all the environment during the production system. So what is the environmental management? It, is, uh, it doesn't seek to manage the uh, environment directly, but it is much more concentrated on the production activities of the, uh, of the enterprises. It is, so it's uh, very effective because it gives, uh, the organization activities uh, gives rise to impacts upon the uh, environment. Uh, the focus of the work becomes the interaction between the organization and the environment and uh, it's all the direct and indirect impacts of the organization's activities that are going to be measured and uh, try to be managed. Uh, the base of the environmental management systems is the continual improvement. What does it mean, continual improvement? It means that you have to uh, manage all the activities and all the production, um, all the services of an, of an enterprise so you have to set an environmental policy, you have to plan all the activities, the implementation and the operation, and the checking uh, part, and then the monitoring and the management review of all the activities. So the idea is to improve it all the time. So all the activities have to be improved um, from the side of the environmental management, environmental impact. So it is based on the plan, do, check, act of the Deming's plan. So uh, you plan, you do, you check, and then you act. So it is always in the, uh, in the, perspective, in the perspective of the continual improvement. And it is a very, uh, a very interesting, um, it is a very, a very interesting aspect of the, uh, of the enterprise since it involves all the activities and it involves all the employees of the enterprise. The, uh, the planning of environmental management systems is the first step and it passes through the setting of, uh, uh, of the environmental policy statement and environmental analysis and the setting of the objectives and targets. Then have the implementation and the operation, which is, uh, which is based on organization responsibilities, on communication, operation and control, and emer emergency preparedness and, uh, and reportness. And uh, the, checking the checking phase, which is the monitoring and measuring <coughs> the evaluation of compliance, which is the most important thing because you have the, all the regulation based on the environmental management of the enterprises, the control of record of reports and the internal audit. The, the final phase is the management uh, review, which is all the phase in which you have to understand what you have done and what you can improve in the next stage of the, uh, as since we're talking about the continual improvement, so in the next stage of the, um, of the environmental management systems. There, is, there has been a standardization of the environmental management system, so you have an ICO standard which is 14001, and you also have the eco-management and audit scheme, which is a European scheme of registration. This one is very interesting because since we're talking about industries and clusters, in Italy the eco-label and eco-audit committee uh, of Italy has released a specific document on industrial districts, which, is, uh, which gives the possibility to the managing companies to uh, of the cluster to promote among companies the AMAS approach to the environment. So it gives the possibility to the, uh, to the companies to, uh, to accompany them on the AMAS registration, which is a very important thing. And it is also um, it, the role of this managing company is very important since, uh, since it does a cluster environmental analysis and an internal audit. Uh, it, uh, it does an individuation of best practices of the cluster and then develops an environmental report. It is very important this uh, this part because it is only for the moment it is only present in Italy and uh, the, so the, this committee has released this specific uh, this specific document for the uh, industrial districts in Italy and it is uh, um, we wish to, uh, to to we, we wish to make it better to make to make it a better uh, experience and also to um, to give it to the to the other countries as an example in order to implement them also in other industrial districts. It is very important because, uh, in, you can, because you can uh, take the area as a whole. So not only an environmental management system is based on the, uh, on the single enterprise, the, the shift is to, uh, is to pass from the single enterprise to the whole industrial area. So let's say that this is the most interesting use of this kind of, uh, of scheme in Italy. Thank you.